Hi everyone, I am Naomi Brockwell and this is Positive Liberty. So, two very exciting things that I wanted to share this week have to do with 3D printing. Now first of all, someone built a factory in Manhattan. Yes, you heard that right, but it's not what you think. So, a fledgling company called Normal recently opened its doors in the trendy Chelsea neighbourhood. The space combines equal parts corporate headquarters, retail store and, believe it or not, a factory consisting of a fleet of 3D printers. Normal manufactures custom designed earbuds via a very clever mix of online application and brick and mortar storefront. While not cheap, Normal's 3D printed custom earbuds are substantially less expensive and more convenient than their conventional counterparts. My second item. At Florida Southern College, the Annie Pfeiffer Chapel stands proud. It's part of a collection of 12 buildings on campus designed by legendary architect Frank Lloyd Wright. The problem? It's falling apart. So the joints of Wright's characteristic textile blocks are beginning to crumble. The solution? 3D printing. Replacement blocks can be 3D printed at a much lower cost than building them in the traditional manner. So custom earbuds and architectural restoration are only the beginning. 3D printers have already created prosthetic limbs, organs made from living cells, lightweight cars and whole houses. 3D printing is a revolutionary technology that 30 years after its development is finally gaining traction. This delay actually has much to do with patent laws, but let's save that issue for another episode and just rejoice in the fact that 3D printing has become so pervasive. And for more information about 3D printing, be sure to check out my Reason TV interview with Jim Epstein.